Hey guys, this is Josh from the Airsoft GI Retail Store in California and I wanted to go over some really basic uh, troubleshooting as far as batteries and connectors in the fuse are concerned. All right, and this is a uh, G4 model. Um, this is one of our nicer model, of course, G and G's. We're going to go through the rear because this gun is a rear wired um, weapon and we'll start with the battery. So with the battery, uh, with the 9.6 nunchucks, you got to make sure you don't overcharge them. Uh, our smart charge will prevent you from doing that. These can be burnt out, uh, much like the lipos, if you drain them too much, will die as well. Uh, these are susceptible to being overcharged, so make sure you're using a smart charger. Uh, and of course, with a lipo, definitely make sure you're using the right charger, lipo specific charger with the balance plug, uh, otherwise you may end up with a bit of a fire on your hands. So, going from this end, um, there's always going to be two metal contacts here. You always want to make sure if you're having issues with the battery and you know it's the battery, not the gun, that you look here, make sure there's nothing funny going on here. Uh, with these Tamiya connectors, sometimes the issue we see is these, will, um, <clears throat> these rather will actually come out a bit. So whenever you have an issue, if you look at the battery connectors and one's slightly out, you might want to push those back in there. Um, these are relatively cheap, so if you do need a replacement set, you can get the little metal leads that are in there, and you can keep the plastic connector. This, Unless this melts, um, there's really nothing that can be damaged too much with the plastic itself. So sometimes the metal can be in there, but that's about it. Moving to the back of the gun, uh, same kind of thing. These to me connectors can be a little finicky, and inside, with the battery, you have little, two little pegs like this, and you have sleeves in the male side that the female side will go into actually and connect. So once that, uh, once that done, you of course you have a connection. Now, if these are too messed up in here, that that's can only be really uh, fixed by replacing the connector altogether. However, same thing uh, with this side connector on the battery. If you can tug on this, and you don't want to tug too hard, of course, you you'll end up bending the wings out uh, on the connector and damaging them. Uh, but if you can just very easily just pull on them and they come out, that's going to be an issue. That's going to create a, uh, an electrical issue. You're not going to get a response from the gun because either your positive or negative side is going to be uh, uh, out. The next most common thing, and actually probably the most common thing we get, is the uh, fuse. Fuses come in most guns nowadays, I'd say, um, with the exception of a few. Fuses are not always in cases like this. They don't always uh, look like this either. But regardless of what your gun has, uh, a lot of time it will have a fuse. So this is, I think, one of the 12, 20, 20 amp fuses? I can't remember. Anyway, this is what the G and G's use. And in these, you'll see two small wires. Some of them you'll see a little S shape, or you'll see just a single rod in the middle. Uh, the fuses are there to prevent uh, damage from shorts, damage from, um, from things like that, or surges and whatnot. Uh, these will pop, essentially. And what I mean, it's, it's, uh, it'll essentially break that little bridge there, uh, once that happens, the gun will not respond. Um, that's to protect it, like I said, from some kind of surge. With these also, you need to make sure that these connectors, these gold uh, pin, well, sleeve thingamajigs, um, are actually around them, are actually grabbing onto them good. If they're loose and they're just going to slip off, then you're going to end up playing, you know, adjust your stock or move in the wrong way, and it's going to go pop, and that's it. Because remember, this does shift around a little bit, and if the weight can do that, then that's an issue. But uh, always make sure these connectors are nice and solid on there. Um, these can be bypassed, though, you know, if you have a question about that, you can always feel free to contact our tech department and ask whether you think, whether they think that's a good idea or not for your build. So this snaps in here. Simple enough. All right. And that's really all there is for the electrical uh, troubleshooting as far as the battery end goes on the gun. Uh, next video, we're going to move on to the motor connection and stuff like this. I can't get this thing closed. So I will see you guys in the next video.